Why, hello there, everybody, and welcome back to the next big thing. It is time for some more point and click action. Ooh, I apologize that it's been some time. We've been a little light on recording space, so it's been tough to get everything out. As you've noticed, I've done a lot of uh, co op stuff as of lately, so it's been a little tough. We've been recording like hours at a time, and I only have one terabyte hard drive at the moment, so it's. There's a bug in my mouth. Uh, uh, okay, sorry. Anyways, it's been a little rough, but here we are, we are back, and I do not remember where I'm going, but we will figure it out as we go. Let's touch the hood. I don't like to play with crocodiles. That's not a crocodile, girl! Not even close to a crocodile. Can we look at ourself? No? Dan. I'll get him to take Fitz Randolph away from the hall, by golly. By gee, by golly, I've already said that. Ayo, Dan, so how are you doing? Better than... Okay, I think we've gone through this already. Uh, topic boxing. I hope you freeze. I hope you freeze. See ya, bitch. Wait, do I have to go through all that again? Okay, we'll just we'll we'll click through it really Better fast. Than you. Do this. So okay, yeah, we. Listen, honey. If I wanted to commit murder. Okay. Oh wait, do I, I don't remember that? Did you have a thing going um, with the boss's wife? This did is new. You Never have mind. A thing going with the boss's wife? That witch. I'd sooner have a thing with you. Oh. With anybody. Oh, uh Almost heard that, buddy. He's attracted. Oh, yeah. Just rope him on in now. Just bring him on in. You're all mine, boy. You're all mine. Sorry, is that a little bit too much? You were rude to the boss. They're like I am with everyone, but I have a gift. No one takes it the wrong way. Jerk. <laughs> okay, just you, but you don't count. Lunatic. Actually, I could care less what you did. Fascinating. No matter how much you try, you won't guess. Even if you did, it wouldn't help you anyway. What the hell is that? What, do you, what you got against me? What do you have against me? Not a thing. Not even that you're a daddy's girl. Not even that you're a novice. Not even that Mr. Boss thinks you have talent. Not even that you hate sports. Not even that you're crazy. Not even that you're impossible to work with. Not a single solitary thing. I feel like he might be speaking in jest. And that really, he hates all those things about me. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Either way, I'm, I'm sensing some tension. Some good tension. Topic, boxing. Subject, Murray. Questions. Topic, boxing. Subject, Murray. Questions? You bet money on a fight. Tell me more. Wait, I did, I, I did this you already. You bet money on a fight. Tell me more. Jim Bad Blood Dixon against Ron Hellman Pearlboy. Okay, we did this already. Okay, and who did you say would be trading punches this Friday in his shorts? And who did you say would be trading punches this Friday in his shorts? Manny Hammerboy Brown against Rico the Italian Stallion Sandretti. The World Flyweight Championship, sweetheart. I would do anything to be there. Let's change the subject. <laughs> I hope you freeze. <laughs> Freaking love that. Let's change the subject. Die. Hey, you Better th Anything else? Um, no, because that's it. I hope. Alright, let's just tell him we hope he freezes again and get on going. Can't go that way, so back to the mansion. So, what did we miss, folks? What could we possibly do among. Ooh, theater! Into the. Nope, thi oh. it's closed and there's no one left. But we could get a private show in or something. Touch the puppy? Hey, the puppy. Come on over here, puppy. Give me a pet, buddy. Come, oh, oh. He's nasty. <laughs> I'm not getting any closer. You're pretty close right now! Okay, well, we've been here already. Well, then, back into the mansion? Move a little faster, girl? No? Okay, we're just gonna run into walls. Look, you're not helping yourself, sweetheart. Alright, so they will punch me in the face. So, let's go. That's where the ball is, but it's dying down now. That's good. After the way they all laughed when I started dancing. Okay, we get it. Into, ooh, the corridor. How did I not see that before? Hey, that was a rhyme. Down to the corridor. How did I not see that before? Ooh, hey there. What the? Ayo, hey, Edgar. Oh, what are you doing at the window? He has a name. Ayo, hey, weren't you going? Oh, sometimes I'm going and sometimes I'm coming. Oh. What are you doing at the window? I mean. Shall I take your jacket again? I'm gonna be coming and going. What are you doing at the window? Rehearsing. Ah, oh, you've been cast in a movie? Hmm, no. Just rehearsing for the sake of rehearsing. Oh. Fit my looks. Nobody can believe I'd be competent as a monster in front of the camera. But you look like a monster. Oh, touchy subject. Out of work actor. Coat check. Obvious synergies. Out of work actor. Coat check attendant. 
obvious synergies. Uh, whoa, Jesus, all right. So, why can't you play a monster exactly? Are you what they call normal in this world? They don't let you play monsters? No, with my looks, I don't scare anyone. At the auditions, I don't even get to act. They send me packing as soon as they lay eyes on me. Oh, this guy's depressing. How long have you been working for Fitz Randolph? How long have you been working for Fitz Randolph? About a month. He pays well, and he's nice. Alright, well that's something. At least he pays well, I guess. I mean, yeah. Anyways, what type of work? What type of work are you doing right now? A little of everything. Maintenance, basically. I do whatever needs doing. So you're the janitor. This is why you shouldn't get into acting, folks. In the end, you are just the janitor. Talk to the dude from Scrubs. He can tell you all about it. And Fitz Randolph can't give you a recommendation? And Fitz Randolph can't give you a recommendation? No, that would compromise his integrity. He gives his producers and directors complete artistic freedom and never interferes in things like casting. Yeah, you just keep telling yourself that, buddy. I have a feeling that it's probably personal. But you know what? We're not gonna get into that. Was your appearance this original when you were a boy? Or did you get some plastic surgery? Oh my god, it's Joan Rivers. Guys, how did we not see this? This is her final, well, maybe this isn't even her final form, but I feel like this could be close to her final form. Was your appearance this original when you were a boy? Yes, from day one. I was born in a beautiful and absolutely ordinary place. I don't believe it. With your typical farm I animals. Believe it. Why did I turn out peculiar? Your guess is as good as mine. Vims of Mother Nature. <laughs> Enough said. Let's move on. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> totally. Whims of Mother Nature, not the nuclear nuclear plant that's right behind the beautiful farmhouse with a chicken with the arms the size of Slender Man. Sometimes you got pretty long arms too, buddy. I like books. Who does the one on the table belong to? I like books. Who does the one on the table belong to? <laughs> to me, for autographs. I've gotten them from all the celebrities at the party. <sighs> Except for Hammer Boy Brown. Hmm. What the? <laughs> Twenty, twelve, one, four, uh. Twenty, twelve, one, four. I don't understand. Why did you say that? <laughs> to help myself relax, it works every time. Go on, rehearse. I'll watch you. I'm on it. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. So now he's into rehearsing. Poor thing. <laughs> I do feel pretty bad about him. Or pretty bad for him. Let's see. Edgar? Is he talking to himself? He's rehearsing for ya! There's my Edgar! Hey, buddy! Oh, then more stuff. Let's see. Hammerboy Brown. Brief profile. Hammerboy Brown. Brief profile. No way. You don't know who Manny Hammerboy Brown is? The world flyweight champion? Of course. Flyweight. Sounds good. What is this? What luck? Boxing. Oh, poor thing. See my jacket? Well, it's his. Was his. Did you? He left it here when he went into the party. And I said to him, Hey, Manny, how about that autograph? And he comes back with, Get lost, elf. <laughs> a little while later, sorry. he left drunk with a girl and forgot his jacket. And that is the last he ever saw of it. I feel like that could compromise your position as a janitor here. I mean, it's not... Maybe losing your job could be a good thing. But it's the only good job you got. I mean, look at look at this mug. Not too many people going to take that. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm What's your name again? I'm so sorry, Edgar. Life is like a crocodile. <laughs> Life is like a crocodile. <laughs> One day it's biting you, and the next uh, it's a stuffed animal. Hmm, I, 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 I don't understand. <laughs> what don't you understand? All right, so we've gone through that. Go on and rehearse. Go on, rehearse. I'll watch you. I'm on it. Have fun, buddy. Anything else going on here? Or can I touch it? That's fine where it is. But we should probably move feng shui and all, you know. It's Blue Harrelson, the star of Vulcan Flash and the Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, who disappeared without a... Wait a minute. Edgar. 
Oh. You are Falcon Flash. Say what? <laughs> Hi, Vish. Seriously, you could pass for him. Now you have a job. Blue, strange eyes, dressed like this. Impossible. I'm very grateful to you, but no. Maybe it was out of generosity or stubbornness, or just because she happened to feel like it. But Liz decided that very night she would convince Edgar of his future as Vulcan Flash. Go Liz! For that, her... Uh, original mind came up with a mental image that she decided to call the Complete Alien Kit, which she would equip with everything required for this altruistic goal. Okay, so... I mean, did, did, I, did I miss something? Was there something more I'm supposed to know about this? Let's look at the book. I don't need any autographs. Oh, come on. He steals something, you steal something. It's a circle of life. So complicated. All right, well, let's talk to him one more time. There's my... There we go. Uh, we didn't go through that, but... Oh, we kind of did. I don't remember that exact question, though. Let's see. The making of the new Vulcan Splash. Flash. The Vulcan Splash. The sequel. It's just nothing but a Vulcan just flopping around in the water. The Making of the New Vulcan Flash. Story by Liz Allaire. Your problem is that you aren't scary. Your problem is that you aren't scary. But Vulcan doesn't have to be. Look at me through the eyes of a producer. He has blue skin, strange eyes, that th vest, and I don't. Through the eyes of a producer, meaning with no imagination? That's right. Exactly. Fine, but you haven't convinced me. Let's see, whatever happened to Blue Harrelson? Let's see, or no, let's, I repeat. Now let's, let's go to this. Whatever happened to Blue Harrelson, the original Vulcan? No one knows. They rented a spaceship for a Vulcan flash in the attack of the killer tomato sequence. Blue Harrelson got into it, and he didn't come out. Hmm? He disappeared. By the next day, the spaceship was gone too, and the assistant director couldn't even remember where he rented it. Well, in this world, aren't aliens real? So, like, that doesn't seem like that far-fetched. Probably just went back to his home planet or something. I repeat, you could be the new Vulcan Flash. No, Liz, I don't even look like an Earth monster, which is what I am. Let's drop it <laughs> for the moment. See, you're wearing Manor, eh? Many Hammer Boy Brown's jacket. You're wearing Manny Hammerboy Brown's jacket. Yes, I already told you that. <laughs> Very kind of you. But what did you say? The thing about Manny Boy Brown's jacket. <laughs> Edgar, I adore you, but don't change the subject on me. Oh my god. Alright, so that's it, right? Go on. I'm So where do we go next then? Should we maybe leave and go talk to that one guy? Back out to the vestibule. Hmm. Oh, oh, yep, yeah, nope, okay, never mind. Thought she was walking on her own. Seats. Hey there, sir, how you doing? What's your name again? Is everything all right, miss? Just, you know, come by to check, uh, you know. Check up on you. See, I don't like seeing you just sitting in that chair. I don't like seeing you just sitting there in that chair. I'd much rather see you in bed. Oh. <laughs> if that's what you want, it would be my pleasure to share my bed. <laughs> no, no, I'm not sleeping. <laughs> so much the better, don't you think? Neither am I. Oh, uh, damn, smooth! Never mind. Forget what I said about going to bed. I'll figure out something else. <laughs> Disconcerting. <laughs> you are light years away from any social convention. Thank you, I think. That's a compliment, right? In our interview earlier? In our interview earlier, I forgot to ask you... Do you get along with the stars of your super productions? Do you get along with the stars of your super productions? Well, I try to be a good employer, but it's not always easy. Fame goes to their heads. They do strange things. What kind of strange things? Are we talking like Charlie Sheen strange things or like Lindsay Lohan strange things? I like Kim Kardashian. I don't know. There's a lot of shit going on. I'd rather live in this world. Seems a little bit more tame. Donations, Crap. foundations, charity events. Do you have any time left for yourself? <laughs> I'm just doing my part for the less fortunate, miss. Without the little people below, the, the cream, cream of society, society would sink to the bottom. <laughs> How did you know I was going? I, I just knew. You talked about this already. Uh. 
Horror Done movies this? have allowed monsters to gain acceptance in society. Are you proud of that? Not completely accepted, miss. It's true that we aren't persecuted anymore and that we finally have the same rights as everybody else, but unfortunately, there are still many minds to change. So many people judge other people by their appearance. And once again, I do apologize if uh, we have heard some of this stuff before. I just want to make sure that I'm going over all of it again, and I honestly don't remember what I did and did not ask. How's business going? How's business going? Support your answer. MKO is still the largest movie studio in the country, and the world. We have made horror movies fashionable. And as long as that okay, continues... About this already. I remember Thank that. you for your time. What else we got? Do you have any tickets for the Hammer Whatchamacallit What's His Name Sandretti fight? Do you have any tickets for the Hammer Whatchamacallit What's His Name Sandretti fight? I'm proud to say that I don't. Hey! I have been prohibited from attending any event organized by the Sandretti family since I reported their mafia activities. I wish they would go back to New York and leave us in peace. Oh, I can't just tell people to leave like that. What are the newspapers gonna think? You are an inconsiderate man. Sandretti sound like wonderful people.